Okay, now we're going to talk a little bit about, let's see if I keep this lit. The sun's going down. I don't have very good lighting in here, do I? Hold on a second. I'll be right back. Whoa, hang on guys. <laughs> Should I just leave this because it's funny? With me flopping around. Okay, that lighting's a little bit better. Alright guys, now I want to talk a little bit about... Um, I've suggested to you guys that you watch the series Sense8. And basically what Sense8 is showing is it's showing a group of people, seven or eight people, something like that. And they start being able to telepathically communicate with each other. Long story short, they can call on each other and um, use each other's strengths in the moment, wherever, and there's, they're all around the world. And then eventually what happens is they get very good at that, that they can interact with one or more of the group and um, draw on each other's um, strengths. And then eventually that group starts being able to interact with another group, said group then eventually what happens is those two groups will merge and get really good at it and this happens all over the world and then those larger groups find another larger groups that they merge and eventually that's how you get to uh, be able to t telepathically communicate with everyone and everything that's how it's done with the humans so do humans first okay now um, I've formed a new group, NCCC, and this is a group that actually is very much like that. It is the prequel to the Sense8 type, type groups. And you are already a part of one of these groups. You already can't, everyone can telepathically communicate with everyone and everything. It's just you don't realize you're doing it, and you've blocked uh, the... You've got amnesia regarding how you do it and that you do it. And the way that that was done was to encourage people to not go with their feelings, instincts were bad, and to think things out. That's why thinking um, has been put into place so strongly that people have a hard time just being in the now, going with instinct, and following their feelings. Because that will get you back to oneness very very quickly if you do that so they didn't want to do that because they were playing the game so that's why the incorporation of uh, feelings are bad and weakness and to think things out first that's why it is in uh, the human uh, condition so so strongly but as you come out of that and go back towards oneness and raise your vibration then this is going to be something you'll remember and so it would not be surprising if any of you start um, getting the feeling that you know what somebody is feeling. Now, telepathic, telepath, tele, telepathy is not what people think. You don't look at somebody and hear them say things like, well, I just hate your dress. No, that's not what happens. It is much faster than that and it's much more all-inclusive that you will, you can literally know everything about a person's life, every moment of their life, in a split second. And because of that, because it is all-inclusive, you know, you not only know, well, you know everything about their life before they came here, why they came here, everything they did and why they did it. So there is no judgment in that knowledge because you understand all of it so, so quickly. So... When these things start occurring, you'll have feelings like um, all of a sudden maybe somebody's happy and you know why. Uh, you don't know how come you know why, you just know why. And it'll be very vague things, big things first, and then you'll get more and more and more specific. Like you may start out knowing that somebody walking down the street has had a really, really good thing happen to them. They're having a very good day because they had really good news. You might just know that. But if you honor that knowingness and you go into it more, you can say, yeah, and what else? And if you keep doing that, eventually you can get it down to a moment in time. Let's say they had, they were given a surprise birthday party at work and really felt special and loved and cared for because of that. 
uh, and you can go even deeper. So when you start having those vague moments, you don't have to talk to anybody about it. You don't have to uh, share it with the world. You know when you're having them. So instead of thinking your way out of those those feelings, honor them and say, oh, I realize I've just, just done that. And don't say things like, well, there's, you know, that's crazy or that didn't really happen or uh, I made that up because for two things. Uh, there are infinite options to everyone's life. If you go into it and you get this feeling, you can go into it going, wow, that is great. I am so glad I interacted with you and I want to interact more, at which point that will take you to timelines where there will be more interaction. If you get those feelings and you go, oh, that's baloney, I'm making this up, it's all make-believe, nothing happened to that person, then you will go to timelines where what you just said is absolutely true. It is all made up. You didn't connect with that person. You see what I'm saying? So if you want to head towards telepathy and thus 5D and beyond in oneness, then you have to honor those feelings and then practice, practice, practice. Okay? All righty. Okay, that's it for this one. Uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Huge hugs. Love you.